<laughs> two squares. Oh, Alright, let's have a look at this. Do you really think I've never spawned this shit before? Mm. I've already told you my uncle was a barn. Just be concentrate. My plan for this is I'm going to glue it back together. I'm going to glue this piece back. Like so. Then we're going to route out some channels. I'll probably do it with the chisel. Um, so put some splines in here. I want to put a veneer on the front of it to add a bit more strength. The, uh, Les Paul Gibson Epiphone um, truss rod cover is completely snapped. There's, you've got the top and you've got the bottom bit, and the middle bit's missing. So, yeah, but my, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to put a veneer on this headstock, Just put splines on the back. It's um, an SG Epiphone, it's got a nice Mandy brown wood look to it so i've got i've been working with babinga recently so i'm going to use babinga and uh, put a veneer on the hair obviously got to take into account the height of these needs to leave room for the strings so i might might have to change i don't think we all change these actually because they're grover proper grover they look really stuff. nice what? Does the woman to take the eggs off? Yeah. Well, how long has it been? Probably that long. I don't put that much oil on, to be honest. Go on then. That's the key with oiling. You just keep putting layers on. Yeah, I don't usually yeah. put that much on the first one anyway, to be yeah. honest. So, yeah. I'm going to take this uh, scratch plate cover off, though. Side Thanks, Bob. Took the excess off as well. Looks like it's glued on. Is it? The um, scratch plate cover. It oh shouldn't right. be because obviously you need to take it off to uh, get access to the cover. Yeah, well, I think the cheap ones were glued on warmer. I, I think it might have been when they tried to repair it. Maybe they tried to glue it on to add strength. Because even that, that shouldn't be glued on because you should be able to take it off. Oh well, yeah, so you can adjust the rough rod. Yeah. Like I said, maybe they glued it on when they tried to repair it to add strength. Yeah. Be careful with your fingers. Alright, I know what I'm doing. I know you know what you're doing. There's a there, I've never noticed mm. that before. Oh, it's finished. Mm. Let's go see that spice. How many loads of finish am I putting on? I don't know. How long do you want me to leave it to mm. sink in before I put another layer on? Take these <coughs> chips off. Yeah, 
tuning the pegs off. So let me repair this. And a little case to put them in so you didn't lose them. I've got a pot here, and I thought you give me. Yeah, yeah, I'll well, open it. Yeah, I'll open it. Yeah. How's you fiddling with it, doesn't it? Yeah. So basically, look, these come out like that. Oh, wicked. So I'm going to set these out. No, you ain't going to use these. They ain't going to fit in here, am I? No. So I've took them out. Thanks. Okay. These could be used maybe for um, the jewellery box screws. Um, yeah. When we start making them. That's a good idea actually. Yeah. It is. Well done. Perfect then on for that. I actually forgot we've got this. First spanner I picked up was the right one. How about that, Bob? Oh. Yeah? Oh, I don't know. Mm. You are good sometimes engaging stuff like that. No, because I, I must have saved that for a reason. You know, you too. It's a 10 millimeter. What's the name? We need to get some spanner. Better ones than that, anyway. Painting box was in that bag. You know what? My old painting box from the cat. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not. So I'm thinking maybe you know that bag at the top of the tower closest to the wall. Yeah. I think it might be in there. I think I might get you to get them down in there. Have a look. Yeah. At what treasures we have. Because if I've got to wait five minutes in between coats, mm -hmm. I don't want to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I don't think these tuning pegs will fit in this, but the, the rest of it will. You need to just... Well, you I'll ain't got a close I'll it. Put them in the, I'll put them in this guitar case. Yes. Because that's where the other stuff is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can make, make another yeah. cover. It's a shame that broke. Yes. Because I could have just traced, traced around it. Is it plastic? Yeah, it's plastic, yeah. Not, um, we'll make another one here. Could you not do it flat, mm. a wood flat?
about her and then it was about her. Bonus footage now. Just so want to show off my uh, new clamps. Look at the size of the throat on that. And now that's a deep throat. <laughs> Perfect size for guitar building because the width here, sorry, the depth I should say, will cover most most guitars. And then uh, that's ten inches. <laughs> And the thing is, where do we store them? You've got to find a place in the workshop to store them. <sighs> Should we put them on the radio? Let's try on the radio with a rest. Oh my good god. What? It's the, no, it, there, was, there was like four on the sofa the oh, other yeah. day. So let's just have a look at this. Let's have a look at the possibilities. Because I've done quite a few holly bodies. Oh, you bastard. Well, I said quite a few. I've done two holly bodies. <sighs> Excuse my French for you. So far. I just realised In my short good. career as a luthier. And some issues I've had is obviously getting pressure in the middle and stuff. The way to resolve that is putting strong beams, bars, to push it down. But sometimes you just need that little bit of pressure in one awkward little spot. And this is hopefully. Look. Oh. Oh. No, I'm just telling the camera. I thought you saw it. So that's perfect for what we need. Yeah, so we've got the sash clamps there. We've got the quick grip clamps. We've got them deep throat clamps. Some F clamps. So I think we're good for clamps now. Your best though. Yeah. <laughs> this board's gonna have all my um fret leveling beams and stuff like that for the frets on here and I might move the rulers and stuff from here over there as well. So basically I'll have all like the precision tools on that one. Um we're looking to put um uh, a stack of plastic drawers here it's basically like a row of drawers basically um, and towers so we'll be able to fill those, fill those with all the little bits and bobs that we need to store this work in progress so we've got all my power tools down here at the moment in the bags I've got an extraction for the room so we can start a routering and stuff that I didn't really feel comfortable doing in any because my partner also she's got a she's got a little business going she's trying to get it off the ground she's not trading yet she's just uh, learning the ropes like I am she's making candles soaps resin jewelry you name it hand hand gel hand wash um, lip gloss makeup yeah, she's talented. <laughs> 